Hey guys, it's Fida and today I've come up with a really delicious Christmas cake recipe. So this is basically a fruit cake and I've already uploaded a fruit cake before. So if you want you can go check it out, I'll leave a link in the description down below. And also this is a little different from what I made last time. This is even more intense, it's more tasty. So in this cake, first we're going to soak the dry fruits in some juice. You can either use orange juice or grape juice. Here I have used grape juice. I've soaked it overnight and it has become a really nice jam consistency. So this is what you want. And then we're going to mix up a normal cake batter with brown sugar. And then we're going to add that with this with some spices and lemon zest. So the taste of it will be like a spice cake with some fruits and nuts. So that's it. It's just super delicious. Without any further ado, let's get on to making it. First, we need to make the fruit mixture. For that, here I have all the fruits required. I have grapes. These are dried black grapes. These are just store-bought dried black grapes, which I bought home and then washed it really well and let them dry again. Next, I have fig. These figs are again store-bought. I washed it and let them dry. And we don't need it so big. We're going to cut them up into small pieces later. Next, I have plums. These are just fresh plums which I cut up and then let them dry. So I made it at home. Then I have dried cranberries. Again, store-bought, just washed and dried. I also have dates. These are just store-bought dates. I have to remove the seed inside and then I'll chop it up. I also have raisins. And finally, I have prunes. These are also with seed, so I'll remove the seed and chop them up later. So right now, here I have all the ingredients and we don't need so much of each of the ingredients. All we need is just one fourth cup of each of these ingredients. And also you don't need all these fruits. You can use any sort of fruits that you like. And now I'm going to cut up all these large ingredients. That's just the fig, prunes and I'm also going to cut the dates. Other ingredients are really small so I'm going to keep it as it is. I've cut up the fig, I've measured out one fourth cup and then here I have the prunes. I've removed the seeds, cut them up into small pieces, measured one fourth cup and I've set it aside. Again, remove the seeds from the dates and cut it up, measure one fourth cup. Here I have all of the ingredients measured one fourth cup. I have plums, prunes, fig, grapes, dates, then raisins and cranberries. Now what I have to do is put all these ingredients into a large bowl. So I have one fourth cup of each of it and then into it I'm going to pour in 350 ml of grape juice. So you need this grape juice strained. I'm just going to strain and pour it. So all these fruits will absorb the taste from the grape juice and it will absorb all the moisture. So it's going to be like a jam consistency and also the fruits will have the really good taste of the grape juice. You can also use orange juice instead of it. So this is the mixture that we made earlier. I left it for soaking overnight in the grape juice and it has become this nice jam consistency as you can see. It's totally soaked and it smells delicious. So I'm just going to set this aside until I make the batter, the basic cake batter and then we're going to add this into the cake batter. So I'm going to set it aside until then. So the first step is to cream the butter and sugar with the vanilla extract. So here I have the butter, brown sugar, you need to use brown sugar for this recipe because brown sugar gives it a nice brown color. So that's what you're looking for and then vanilla extract. So I'm going to add in the brown sugar into the butter. Then I'm just going to use a whisk and whisk it until it's nice, light and fluffy. But before that, I'm going to add in the vanilla extract. Make sure you use soft butter at room temperature. Softened butter. Make sure you scrape down the sides and between. So 
So here the butter and sugar is creamed really really well. So you can see it's light and fluffy. Right now into it I'm going to crack in the eggs. Crack in the eggs one by one, beat it and then uh, continue with the eggs. Need two eggs totally for this recipe. So here the mixture is ready. It's going to look a little bit battered right now but then after adding the flour in it will look perfect. So now I'm going to set the whisk aside and use a spatula to mix in all the dry ingredients. So I'm going to sift all these ingredients. I have my flour. Half a teaspoon of baking powder, I've added that in, and a pinch of salt. Now I'm going to sift these. So all you need to do is just cut and fold, so you'll get this smooth and really nice mixture. So now into this we have to add in the spices, nuts and the mixture of the fruits. So now into it I'm going to add in the spices mixture which we made earlier. It's just three pieces of cloves and one small cinnamon. So I'm going to add that in. Then I'm going to grate the nutmeg. We need half a nutmeg. I'm just going to grate that in. So that's it. We need one full lemon zest, so you just need the yellow part, do not use this white part. Just grate that in. Take the zest of this full lemon. Now as you can see, there's this mixture, I'm going to start mixing it. So I'm going to add in the fruits into this. I'm going to add in half of it first. I'll keep a little bit for later. Mix that up. I'm going to add in the rest of it. So here as you can see the batter is really nice, it's thick, uh, so you need a really thick consistency. Here I have two pans which I have dusted with all purpose flour. You can also use parchment paper and line it, but it's not necessary, it will come out really easily. So I'm going to pour this batter equally into both of these pans right now. So here the batter is into the two pans. Now I'm going to keep this in a preheated oven for baking. Make sure you tap it and it will take around 40 minutes for me. Uh, the timing will differ according to your oven. So I'm going to keep this in an oven. You can insert a skewer and check. If it comes out clean, 
you know the cake is done and you can let it cool so i'm gonna bake this cake and here the cake is ready it's out of the oven i've inserted a skewer and checked if it was clean if it is clean you know it's perfectly baked so i took it out of the oven and let it cool completely always make sure you take out a cake after letting it cool completely because cakes are really soft they'll break apart as soon as you take it when it is hot so let them cool run a knife around the sides and it'll come out really easily because we dusted the pan with all-purpose flour and also brushed it with butter and here the cake is remove the bottom tin if you have parchment paper in the bottom you can remove that right now and as you can see the cake is really good it's flat and there are a lot of fruits you can see the good color and now i'm just gonna cut into the cake and you can see it's really soft it's really easy to cut And there the cake is. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope everybody tries this cake out for coming Christmas. It's really simple. It's super delicious. And also, Merry Christmas to everybody out there. I hope you like this video. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. Thanks for watching. Love cooking. Bye-bye.